Hello and welcome to the Celtic View podcast. I'm Celtic View reporter Tony Conley and today I'm joined by John Joe Kenny. John Joe, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Uh, first of all, a belated happy birthday. How was your birthday? Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, obviously it was as good as it can, it can be um, with, with what's going on, but no, it was it was nice. So um, yeah, it was a good day and it was just time to, to move on and get back into training. Yeah, so you didn't have a game at the weekend there, so you've had a little bit extra training time. How has that been? I imagine it's been quite beneficial given the the change in manager. Yeah, no, I've um, I've loved it really. It's uh, it's been good. It's been uh, Kendall with being different class with, you know, with Gavin and uh, Mick as well. Um, training's been really good, and to get that uh, extra couple of days into training, uh, leading up to the game, always helps. So, um, no, it's been really good. Yeah, and how is the the mood in the team? I imagine you're all quite looking forward to this game at the weekend. It's a big one, and you you'll be wanting a positive result. Yeah, I think everyone knows what what a derby's like. Um, everyone's played in in some some sort, but you know the the rumours and the, what I know of myself is how big this game is, and um, I think it's one of the biggest out there in the world. So. Uh, no, I'm really looking forward to, to be involved in, in one and, you know, it's another one to, to add to in my career. So I can't really, I can't wait to get going, really. You yourself have played in the Merseyside derby a, a couple of times. So I, I was curious, um, from your point of view, how mentally challenge, challenging are the, these derbies compared to other games in terms of the the preparation and the, the focus they did during the game, I imagine there's there's additional challenges there when, when the occasion's this big. Yeah, I think everyone knows, um, you know, all the players know and what it's about and uh, the build-up to it. Um, but I think, you know, you try not to get too emotional um, and try and be as, as calm-headed as possible, uh, which is difficult to do, you know, knowing how big the game is and, and what it means to, to people around um especially Glasgow and you know as you said in, in Liverpool um we it was it was massive for me growing up and I think it's just trying to be as um as calm as possible I think enjoying the moment but I don't think you have to think about the game too much uh, leading up to it um which is which will be hard because obviously it's a, a 12 uh, documented and it's well uh, out there in the press so I think you've got to take it uh, day by day and sort of enjoy the the occasion really Unfortunately, the occasion won't be what it usually is with with no fans in the stadium. Does that impact on the the pressure that, uh, that you feel going into this? No, because for me, you know, I, I, as a as as a player and as a person, you know, I, I thrive off of fans. Um, you know, especially being at home, I think it'd be a massive boost for us for for what the the fans bring, especially to the club. Um, the fan base here is huge and. You know, I've seen videos of um, the fans singing before the game and during the game, and you know when when Celtic have won and how how good it is and how much it bounces. And I think um, when that gets going, it's hard to stop. So um, you know, I think the fans do make a massive thing, uh, a massive part of of the game. Uh, however, we can't do that right now, and I think it's about us. Uh, still bringing that into the game and bringing that passion in. Um, but as I said, keeping a cool head at the same time. I was wondering with this fixture, do you have any memories of any previous Celtic Rangers fixtures that you might have watched growing up? Uh, not too many, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I think I've seen one was 5-1. Um, I've seen the, the highlight of that game and you know the the atmosphere, the, the buzz, the way the team was playing was was something special. So um, you know, hopefully the fans can get back in and, and the world can get back to normal, and uh, their moments and memories can can all happen again. There was very little separating the two sides when they met in in January. I was wondering if you managed to to see that game at all, or if you've noticed the sort of added sense of determination to, to maybe put that right in this fixture? Uh, I didn't I didn't get to see the game, no, uh, but I don't think, me especially, you don't think uh, you need to know and hear too much. I think you know anyway what it's about, you know what it means to people um, and especially to the club. So I think um, that's already known and 
I think you just got to go out there and um, just show people what we're what we're about and how good we can be. So, in in your eight games with Celtic, Celtic have managed to keep five clean sheets as well. So, the a good defensive record. I was wondering, are you seeing a, an improvement, a development in this defensive unit as a as a whole from game to game? Yeah, I think it's just having that confidence. I think you know, in in, in games, you know, we will dominate the ball and. There's going to be moments where we are going to be on the back foot, and I think it's uh, riding out the moments and not panicking and and defending well, and that if that means clearing your lines and getting up the pitch, that's what it so be it because that's football. I think it's just making that um, that changes of you know when it's time to play and when it's time to really sit back and defend and and ride the ride the pressure on the other team really. From what we've seen of your performances, you do seem really at ease and, and fit in with the team like that, you know, and weighing in with the attacks and getting back and defending. I'm curious, since you, you've been here, it's been, um, you know, just over a, a month now. How are you sort of settling into the, the style of football that you've been asked to play? No, I, I loved it ever since I've come in with... Um... When I come in from the start, um, the way the, the formation we played, um, I played a lot at Chalka, so I understood the formation very well. I understood the, where to be and um, how uh, we want to play going forward, how you want to be defensively. So I think having that experience in Chalka and playing that formation, it really helped me settle in quick. I remember talking to you when you first arrived and one of the things that you mentioned about the team that struck you was the, the sense of unity, the togetherness of, of them as well. I was curious, how important do you think that will be um, between now and the end of the season as, as the team try to, to end the season with a good running results? Well, I think that's that's everything in the football club, um, that togetherness. I think you look at the top teams, and they've all got it. They've got that together. They say everyone's on the same wavelength. Everyone's um, uh, striving towards the same thing. And I think once you have one or two players who don't, then uh, things don't go as well. And you know, ever since I've been here, and that's all I can speak about is is everyone's being on the same wavelength and everyone's uh, striving for the same thing. And you know, I've loved being a part of that. For you, on a, a personal level, what? What targets are you setting yourself between now and the end of the season? What for you would uh, be a successful end to, to the, the season with the, the games remaining? I think winning, just winning as many games as possible. Um, you know, that's what this club is about. It's about winning football matches. Um, and I think there's no better feeling as a football player uh, on a weekend or midweek whenever the game is played uh, to, to come home and, and have three points and to move on. Um, Obviously, you want to personally perform and, you know, uh, I'd like to add a bit more assisting goals to the game. But I think you just got to take it game by game and uh, keep pushing on and winning the football matches. John Joe, thanks for joining us. I'll let you go. Cheers. Thank you.